and welcome back guys to another episode of Ark Building Evolved with me, Unite the Clans. This is supposed to be a series where together we become better builders. Maybe you learn a thing or two about building an Ark, maybe I do, and um, and yeah, together we work on that. It's about the creative process, but I hate everything I've recorded lately, guys. Uh, I've been away for a few days sick, and I'm trying to get back in action, and gosh, every time I sit down to record, I hate it. So, uh... This is attempt number three. Uh, this is a Patreon server, a creative building one. So I built this church and then asked somebody to come and decorate it up, uh, and they did. So I had originally talked about a fire god. It looks like they took that theme, dragons and all kinds of stuff there. And then uh, a lot more has been added to the world. I think you guys will see a galleon, see that out there? As we go across, you'll also see a lighthouse. I actually have a bunch to show you. Yeah, there's a lighthouse out there. And there is a uh, set of docks and stuff down there. But every video, every episode of Building Evolved, I keep trying to record the same dang episode. And I keep hating it. It's because I start with the tours every time and I don't get to building um, quickly. And this is what happens when you don't get to building quickly. You come up with a house that looks like this. Crap. Right, right now. Compared to the other stuff we've built, like you guys see, this is not your standard level of we, we're doing some up high level tricks and tips as we build here so with this one it's really boring right now and I, I had thought about tearing the whole thing down i'm working with a 10 by 2 foundation which is a challenge but i think i had something good going on i don't know i want to try and fix it so i will do that uh but uh i think i have one more so one more thing to show you it well you know what it's far away somebody built all the way at the end down there too so yeah this place is coming together Com contributions from the community i added in uh i should show you this i added in this uh a bridge built into the ruins i know pretty seamless but those are stone Walls painted in olive, obviously with the no-clip method, means you build right into our, you know, structures and ruins that exist in the map. That's exactly what we did here. Painted it to match. I think it looks pretty good. And um, I think it's a step towards uh, filling the center area, which is eventually going to be a marketplace. But I've rambled, guys. Like I said, this is supposed to be a series about becoming a better builder. So imagine you're looking at a boring old house like this. You get no idea what to do with it. I'm going to attempt to make it better much better i could not stand it guys i think my issue it's not that it's a bad house design it's just it doesn't go here uh so i think i've been i need to rethink the whole thing if i'm going to build something here it has to make sense for here and i think i need to use this archway thing because when i looked at the old version of the house i hated that the ruins were just kind of sticking up out of it they weren't built into it or onto it they were just built literally around it so i think what i want to do i'm probably going to undo everything that's under my feet here i'll lay down some new foundations and start to get an idea of what i want to make all right guys where am i i decided to start with uh these bits down here we are using uh the ruins of ragnarok uh in order to uh inspire our builds and so i tried to think about what this area had that i hadn't taken advantage of yet and these really cool wood things that stick out the sides are great i wonder if i can make like a little plateau a little sort of uh patio maybe down here that connects with stairs up to this area and maybe we build a little house in there and we make this part of like uh the courtyard or the gardens on the inside of the house it'd be interesting but i think i need to play around with some ideas uh, out here and see what i can get going that might take advantage of those cool wooden uh extensions coming out of the ruins all right i have done something cool uh, I didn't really realize I was doing this, but I decided I needed to use some vanilla stone foundations. They look different than the Structures Plus ones, and they give you a sort of a different aesthetic. I was trying to think of fun ways we could be using those, and um, and I just started placing them along here, and I kept getting snap points all the way along. I might be at the, the limit, but you see I got snap points there, there, and I think this is where it stops me. Now, I tried in a couple spots to use ceilings and then to sneak it under but I don't know if it actually makes a difference. It doesn't seem to. So I think I'm limited to that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Clumsy. I think I'm limited to this. And I think uh, if I get rid of this ceiling, I have that gap of two in there. That's all I can do right now. Um, and I don't know if I got over to that one. Yeah, okay. I don't know if uh, now that I'm over here, I could extend it further. I think not. So I think what we'll do is head back to our original set. Get this off. I head 
over here. Yes, and I'll get rid of that one. And this is what we will have to work with for today. That is kind of cool though. All right, so here's what I'm working with. Uh, so it got me thinking. I am not going to be able to extend the foundations out this way. So if I want to maintain the cool look that you get with these foundations, and I think they look really good with the ruins, um, and especially once they get the right paint scheme on them, they will. Um, and actually, I can do that now while I ramble. But um, I'm wondering if I can uh, use this as sort of a ledge and have some... Uh, potentially do a little freeform staircase using these because, and let's see, how's that look? Yeah, not bad. I might want the green for these. All right, let's put this away. But yes, so these free place, if you come down, I don't know how difficult it's going to be. I managed to get the first one incredibly straight. I don't know how I did that. Um, but I can free place foundations. So I'm wondering, can I create a little staircase? man-made built into the the rock side man-made meaning made by me uh let me try this guys let me see okay so i'm not gonna be able to go super low but that i think that is the start of something Ooh, i'm not gonna be able to get it to stick as much out oh good i can rotate afterwards interesting okay are we gonna make this work i have no idea Okay, this is what we got to work with, guys, and I'm, I'm going to try and do something cool with it. We will see. I, I guess I'm going to just keep going around. Okay, and now look at this, guys. I found another spot where they will just... Oh, that's not perfect, though. Where they will just snap together. Uh, okay, let's break these out and let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can improve this, because this is pretty cool so far. I think that could stand to be a lower drop, so let's try and drop these down a little. All right, guys, I'm doing something super funky with this. I think the only way I can see it continuing is if I can keep having it go down. And I have to follow the wall. I can't exactly curve back in on myself like I thought I might be able to, unless it's Super Mario style and I drop down and I won't be able to get back up to the next ledge. But this is working. That's too, we need more of a drop there. Uh, but this is new technique. It took me a while to get excited for today's episode. Finally excited. Stumbled on something cool. Okay. And I will keep this going, guys. Let me do some work. I will come back to you when I'm down at water level. Guys, I think I've done it. This was super fun. Very unique. Something I haven't done before. But we got free placing these, and I think I've made a whole stone ruined stairway. I think I still need some paint back here. There was a lot of redoing and doing these things. I uh, did not want to play along. And I think I'll do better a second time around. But let's go stand on a corner. Take a look. Let me know what you think. That is kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't ooh, wasn't expecting it to work that way. That's actually perfect. But uh, it did. And I went and made a staircase that sort of comes all the way down to just sort of like a little stepping stone right here. But that gives us the basis of something, guys. That's kind of fun what I have made there. Um, and it makes me want to go do it around the other side. I don't know what's over there, though. Got a parachute on me? I do have a parachute on me. So let's go take a look. Okay. Yeah, it would just be a staircase down to over here, which I don't know how useful that is. What about up? Is there anything to build up to? Not really. All right. All right, guys. So I, I do like this, and I feel like this is the might as well be the focus of the episode is working on this staircase thing because it is what has inspired me today. So I think that that's what we'll do, and I think we're going to work on this side uh, since there's not much to do over there. I think what I want to do next is work on a transition that will get it up to and entering this little area here. So that's going to be a lot of fiddling around. I think I'm going to be trying to you know stick foundations in the wall at all kinds of different heights, which will mean taking a bunch of this back so I lose my snap points um, so that I don't have to deal with that. Uh, so that's what I'm going to hop into. Uh, you guys can take a break, and I will come back when I have figured out this little twisty staircase up to here. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was easier than I thought it would be, actually. Uh, actually, let's get rid of you for now. Can I? Yes. Perfect. Uh, so that's it. Like so, and that's all I needed. And I think that actually adds to this whole thing, that less of it is is flat. I think what I will do is build some kind of little uh, balcony thing off here. I will have to do it with ceilings, uh, so I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, do I have? Yeah. 
So it would have to be building out. Oh, gosh. Shh. What a psych out. <laughs> BRB. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work for us. I don't know, guys. I was thinking this might lead out to some sort of patio or, or, or landing or balcony, but I don't know. None of these things look quite right. I think I might be leaving it as is, and this is just a complicated stairway. And maybe we'll have to build something here at the top of this. I don't know what yet, but I like this. And every time I keep trying to add to this structurally, I hate it. We could also try, uh, yes, railings. But the issue, because I thought about doing invisible glass walls along here using structures plus, the problem is going to be situations like this. Like that railing is totally going to obstruct and mess with you as you come down the stairs. So that certainly can't go there. What about that? That could work. That could work too. Uh, but then this, this is going to be nightmarish. Like you're going to come fl flinging down here. I swear you're going to go straight through that, that gap. So you would have to have one here. And then that's impossible. So I don't know. I don't think railings are realistic. And I don't know if they're even going to look good. They kind of look good. But we'd have to be super selective with where we put them. And like this one, I'm going to keep getting hung up on for sure. So maybe you go... No, that one's impossible. Crap, this is harder than I thought. See, I told you. So I think what I want to do is use some modded stuff for some decor uh, in here. And let's see about this. We'll see how this looks and see if we want to carry it on over here. This part should work. I kept these very, very straight, but I just didn't have that option when I was coming around the corner. So that could work. In fact, I think that looks good. Um, I think the biggest problem is that we have this straight away now. It looks out of place. But yeah, you'd have to come down here and you have to know that you're about to make that turn. And then knock it. Oh, geez. All right. So I'll, I'll play. Oh, Lord. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't think I am. <laughs> but we'll make it work. I'll, I'll Like I said, I'll pick the spots where it's least obtrusive. Like there. That's a. Oh, no. Is that a good spot? I, I really don't know. That's a perfect spot. I love that spot. Nothing wrong with that. And then one across here. Nope. Lord. Okay. And then this is what I built down at the bottom. I don't know what it's for yet. We could build a dock off here. But I do kind of like this. If I could if I could make this work in a way that's not too annoying. Because coming up and down the stairs, you, you don't want that to be. You don't want to be. Yeah, yeah. See? You don't want that hitting your face on stuff on your way up. So yes, these corners are so treacherous. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I think what I want to try... I can't do that, can I? Okay, we'll try this again. All right, I think what I want to try is some lighting here, guys. And I've got some stuff from some of the mods on this server, uh, which you have seen used uh, throughout the place, uh, decorating on builds done by my patrons. I don't know the mods super well. So I've got these, which are like uh, Christmas lights. And they can go along railings. I have used those in the past. Oh, maybe they can't go along railings. I don't know. Uh, but I also have these hanging lights. And these are big kind of goofy light bulbs. The only problem is that you have to find a spot where the, the two ends are kind of hidden. And I think I got one there. Let's back up and, and see. Yeah, I think that could work. But like uh, if you try and place it... Uh, oh, God. See, that's what the problem with those railings. I almost went careening. Uh, yeah, I think it would be hard to find another spot for a railing. I'll try, though, or for one of these light strings. I'll try and find one. I'm getting a little bit carried away, I have to admit. I like these once I start finding spots for them. I keep finding spots for them. Oh, I think if those tunnels aren't going to be useful, that's kind of cool. And I think just just keep it going. I like I like these right now. Let's put them up there. Put them up here, like I said, carried right the heck away. <laughs> All right. All right. A few of those in place, and the place is starting to look good. I, don't, I feel like I like those. We'll see. Maybe they have to be at different heights. But I'll show you what I've done out here. And obviously, we can approach this as a stairway for the first time. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So this looks good. I zoom out. Yeah. A couple of strings right there. I think I'm going to have to sneak one. Oh, gosh. How did I get up here? I think it was the railings. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to sneak one up here. Something like that. And we'll see. I was thinking about building more up here. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But 
I like this. I like what we got going on. Now the question is, do we also want some wall lanterns? Because I have these, or access to these. I think I only have one on my inventory right now. Maybe these belong down here? I can see this. Um, on either side of these little, ooh, except these have to attach to an actual wall. They will not attach to ruins or to foundations. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that could give us a good reason for a few sparse railings, maybe. Maybe if I did something like that. Ooh, that's very well hidden. Okay, what if I just do a few railings and I use them? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do selective railings and I'm gonna grab more of those hanging lanterns and I'm gonna stash them right on the ends. All right, are you all going to be this smooth? It seems that way. I like that. Okay, so before we get too into this, what is a fancy wall lantern? Okay, that would not go there. I think the next place I would want one, maybe right here. Okay, that'd be a little bit harder to hide. It'll be a little bit more elaborate. And it's made of more like a cast iron instead of, oh, is that the same? Kind of the same. I think I like our I think I like our previous version better. So let's get rid of these two railings. Like I said, we'll keep the railings sparse. Let's get rid of that fancy lantern. Get 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 rid of you. Okay. And then we will go back to the regular hanging lantern. So this is some of the fun stuff you can do on a modded server. And that's what all of our, our Patreon ones are. Uh okay. And this will be fun to check out at night. I'm going to have to switch it over to you guys. And then I think we're going to need some greenery as well. I'm going to have to find a way to try and get uh, some green. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, what do I have on me? Like that. And we'll get this. We'll get this. There we go. Okay, so that's some of the cool stuff we we're able to do that we wouldn't normally do. And I think greenery is the next thing we'll add. We'll get rid of this, and we'll pretend that the last... So can I do one? Did we decide if I can do one here? No, we don't want to do one there. Okay. All right, that's cool. And one more. And guys, I want to try switching it over tonight and seeing how this all looks. Yeah, looks good to me. I, th I like this whole dang thing. I like the whole setup. We got these lights above us up here. Those looking good as well. Yeah. Okay. So the, uh, my next step, guys, I'm going to uh, get some plants. I'm going to maybe wait for uh, daytime and I will be back in your life. We'll, we'll see if we can decorate this up with some more uh, greenery. I think that would look great. That looks so good. All right. Come on out. This is a precarious little weird staircase we have built, but I really like it. Free placing foundations and then painting them to match railings with uh, the little lanterns on them. I talked about adding some more modded stuff, some greenery from the eco garden decor mod. I think there's hanging vines and things like that or ivy. Um, I do want to try something like that, but before we get there, I want to try and see if I can build something that resembles an arbor. So I'm going to go turn on the HUD and see maybe that's something we can build together. All right, so that is pretty well centered. That is what I was thinking. So what we're gonna do is put that there and then we're going to use a vanilla stone ceiling that will give us a snap point on the corners like that. And then we can come through and just, oops, that's not right. Uh, we can come through and snap next to it and then replace the vanilla one, which would collapse with S plus. And then how's that for width? That is a pretty good width for what I have going on here. Okay, so we want to build up one more time. Whoops, that's probably not right. I want to build up one more time, and I want to see about placing a one of the large hatch frame things in there as part of the arbor. I think that could work, correct? I believe so. Uh, okay, and so then that means we are probably going to need a way to put some pillars on the corners. I'm wondering if this will be the quickest, easiest way. If not, we can uh, try and expand these foundations out from here. That wouldn't be too hard. All right, guys, I'm going to keep you with me as we attempt some funky stuff here, and we'll see. So if I place a wall down there underneath this one, it gives me the ability to build off the middle with a ceiling, which would mean ceiling right there. And then is a foundation going to snap to or under that? It's going to snap under that. Okay, same technique we were using before. Okay, well this will make things work for us. Let's go ahead and put these in. These are gonna be the base 
uh, get rid of the ceiling. Okay, perfect. And these are going to be the base that holds up this hatch frame, which should hold itself up. Um, and we just need to get pillars on, which should naturally go on the corners now that we're dealing with foundations here. Although, no? All right, guys, so the problem is the vanilla uh, foundations, I think. If I were to use S plus foundations, yes, I get a snap point on the corner. So what I'm going to do then is use the structures plus ones. I've been mixing and matching, and hopefully for those of you that try and use both, I've been giving you some, some tips and tricks like that. And then we should be able to come in with pillars. And then I bet even if we wanted to, I bet I could come back and replace these with the regular ones once again. Uh, let's see if it would let us. Yeah, it would. Okay. So if you did need to use the regular stone ones, uh, once you get your pillars on the corners, you are welcome to come in here and replace it. Like so. All right. Let's go ahead and put pillars on the other two corners. All right, guys. This should do it. Now, the only problem we're running into is uh, this. Is that going to cause issues? It doesn't want to cause issues right now. All right, guys, so I have added in some strings up there. I didn't realize you could do this. This could make it better. I think it could. I hope so. I hope this doesn't just look ordinary now because we've done stuff like this in the past. But I think I think that makes for a better sort of pergola. I don't know what I'm building here. Uh, but, uh, I, oh, man. Okay, yeah, I'm think I like it, guys. Uh, I'll slap a little bit of paint on these bits here. Uh, I'm going to keep blending everything in. Too bad you can't dye these lights. That is too bad. Um, but uh, I like that we got the hanging lights. I do want to try uh, one thing with you. I have to figure out kind of flower pots or, or hanging vines, but I did find uh, this. And I could get a few of these. I don't know why I only have one. Yeah, that's ivy. I know we're not supposed to use too much of it because it super eats up resources and drops frames but i'm thinking a few pieces over the top of us and that almost gives us the whole effect we're looking for yeah i think that's all i can ask for for now let me see what else i can add guys i think um i don't know like i found flower pots and things like that i would have to go into another eco mod and grab flowers to put in them uh, i'll see about finding something uh just small to decorate these little corners all right, guys, I am pretty happy with the result. I keep trying to find more things to add, and I don't like any of them. So I'm going to leave building-wise, leave us where we are today with this awning created uh, using the big hatch frame railings, these ivy ceilings, and the uh, light bulbs uh, from the advanced rafts mod. And we'll play them with mods for the first time in really the whole series. Uh, other than Structures Plus, I have left this all to my patrons so far, uh, but we're adding in some stuff of our own, wooden railings, uh, which I, I liked because we're tied into these wooden struts here sticking out of the wall. Built this bizarre little staircase. Check it out, guys. I think we did good work. Uh, in the future, I would like to add another one that goes up uh, the other side. I feel like this is a good start, but we could totally have one over there. And... Uh, and then I think what I will also have to work out is the area at the top of this little staircase. And I mean, it's precarious. Be cautious if you're ever coming up through here. Um, but this area, I think what I want to do is rework this bridge so that instead of going straight into this tree branch, it branches a little bit this way and leads you straight into this awning. Uh, under, awning, whatever you call it, into this little uh, uh, gazebo thing. And then what I'm thinking is if that's the case, all right, let's say it leads you in... Here, let's go ahead and put these out real quick. But yes, let's say it curves like this and comes over and, and fills in this gap here. Then what you could have is the pathway uh, for the city could go through here and we could have a building along here if we were so inclined. And that would be overlooking the and overhanging the market. And then same thing here. If the bridge didn't go right there and instead it came into this area, you could have a building right there. And then when you come through, building here building here. Who knows? Uh, lots of possibilities as the city takes shape. But guys, that does it for this episode of Arc Building Evolved. I hope you like what we've created today. Um, if you are new, my name is Unite the Clans. I talk about this series and wanting to make you a better builder. If you find you did enjoy it, go ahead, click the like button. Click on my face to subscribe. That's popping up on the screen. And if you did happen to tune in the first time, click on this playlist to go back to the beginning watch it all and uh here is some other playlists that i think you guys would find interesting but like i said that does it for this episode whew, of arc building evolved 
I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you in the next episode.